Hi, Cliff at Primary Mover. We're here again and wanted to go over a couple of things. You guys call us many times and ask us about how do you bleed the air out of your hydraulic system. And we're going to cover a little bit of that today. When you have your new scissor hoist already installed into your trailer and you have your pump hooked up, we're going to go over the steps that you need to do to circulate the air out of the system so that this functions properly and it doesn't have any bouncing from air being in the system and it just flows very smoothly. Now when you have your scissor hoist you have two options. You can We send out most of our hoist with double acting pumps. We also have an option where you can choose a single acting pump. Single acting means power up and gravity down. In a single acting pump you have a little larger reservoir because you have to fill this entire cylinder full of hydraulic fluid to make it go all the way up and then when it gravity comes down, all that hydraulic fluid has to come back and fit inside this tank. You don't have to bleed a single acting pump. Double acting pumps, you do have to. There's advantages, both single and double, and we can cover that in another video. But when you get your unit with your double acting pump, you need to circulate the air out of the system, which means you're going to fill this cylinder part of the way and then come back down and fill it another part of the way and come back down until you get all of the air out of the system. And I'm gonna explain that to you today. So first off, what you need to do, once your pump is hooked up, there's two lines coming out of your pump. One of them is coming out of the port A, and that is the high pressure port, 3200 PSI. That line comes and is attached to the bottom of the cylinder, the bottom being the opposite side of the where the rod comes out of the cylinder. You need that 3,200 pounds of pressure pushing that piston up to be able to lift the load that you're going to have. Now, you have a second line that comes out of the B port, which is the low pressure port at 1,500 PSI. It's connected to the top. Now, you're not going to need as much pressure to lower because you got the weight of the bed helping you and assisting you coming down, but it will pump fluid into the cylinder to push it back down. Now, how do we get the air out of the system? Well, what you need to do First off, when you get your, your pump hooked up and your hoist is all on your trailer, you take off this fill cap. This is called a breather cap. You fill your reservoir up to the fill line, which is almost uh, almost three quarters or a little higher than, than that. You'll see a fill line on your res reservoir. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna do this in three stages. You can't run it all the way up and then all the way back down and get all the air out. You have to do it three different stages and I'll tell you and I'll show you how. First stage you want to lift it up a third of the way and as that thing starts to go up and it's going up like that you watch and you're filling the cylinder full of fluid and the air on the other side is coming back through this hose and coming into the reservoir and bubbling into the reservoir getting the air out. You watch that as you lift it up to one third of the way up you watch as those bubbles come back through and then you let it sit for a while and let that air dissipate inside of the reservoir. Once it's dissipated, then you lower it all the way back down. Let it sit a minute. Watch your fluid levels. Never let your fluid level as you're, as you're doing this and you're circulating the air out, never let it go below half. So next you go to two thirds. You lift it up two thirds watching your fluid, watching the bubbles in the reservoir. If it starts to go below half, stop, put some more fluid in here. Because what we need to do is we're taking fluid out of this reservoir and we're filling this cylinder. And when this is finished, this cylinder will be completely full, one side or the other with hydraulic oil and it'll always be in there. And you'll have the reservoir with extra in here. And when you go back and forth, it just transfers from one side of the piston to the other. Now, after you're two thirds of the way up, you let it all the way down, watching those bubbles, let them dissipate, watching your fluid levels. Then you raise the unit all the way up. Once you've raised it all the way up, making sure your levels haven't gone below half, bubbles are out of the hydraulic oil, then you lower it all the way back down. Watch your levels. Once it's all the way back down, you may have to repeat this two, no more than three times, just to make sure every little bit of air is out of the system. 
And once that's done, you replace, you fill it to its fill level and replace the breather cap. And now all your air is hot in your hydraulic system. That's how this works. If you have any questions on it, please give us a call here at Primary Mover. We'll be glad to help you and walk you through the steps if need be.